All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Good white trips. Eat. Close next go. On one. On one. Ready? Three. What's going on, everyone? Ancap24 here from Huddle.gg. In today's video, we're going to talk about a really simple play, simple read, but very effective against the pinch two meta defense that a lot of people face. Now, this is going to come out of the Chiefs trips. Um, game plan that we've um are dropping in installments on our website and last week we dropped the trade by flex strong it was over 30 setups it was you know basically almost two hours long um and we didn't want to overload everybody with the other two formations as part of the scheme so we decided to we we're going to do it in installments so this week um tomorrow you're going to be able to get the trade by flex which is going to bring it um you know basically another uh, around 20 setups, um, another hour or so uh, worth of content, and it's going to get to the point where when you put all three of these together, you're going to be over 70 plays, uh, setups, and then you're going to be able to basically uh, just have a complete scheme that um, goes ahead and attacks everything. When we put schemes together, I want to make sure you guys understand, we're not just going to say, hey, here are bomb plays that you see a lot on our YouTube channel. We want to make sure that you got base plays that beat all coverages. We're going to have plays that are going to be able to bomb, you know, one specific coverage when somebody's running something, and then we're going to have plays that can bomb several different coverages if they mix up their, um, you know, their, their coverages as they play. What's also very important when you do schemes is have solution-based plays. And this is one of them, okay? This is solution-based play. This is specifically to go against your pinch twos, your uh, double A gaps when they're doing a cover two blitz, um, you know, even dollar at times, right? Where you're gonna be able to have this play in the back of your um, you know, hand to where saying, you know what, if they do this, I'm gonna be able to run this to be able to get them out of, um, or, or at least make them have to worry about it and open up the rest of your offense. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, enough with the rambling. Um, it's the RPO Alert Omaha, okay? When people run pinch two at the two, four, five odd, they're gonna pinch uh, baseline and, and press. The reason why they do that, they're really trying to um, basically disguise what they're doing. They can run this, this, and they really don't get pay, uh, they don't get to have to get paid for this alignment very often. And it, it does a really good job of getting to the quarterback. Now, what you're gonna see here is that when you look at this play, it doesn't look like much. But what we're going to do is we're going to have a two-way option. And it's only going to be the running back and the tight end. We're going to put this tight end on a smart route. And what he's going to do is he's going to have a vertical route of 10 yards. So this play is going to be very similar to an RPO bubble pop that you're going to be able to throw this to this A receiver when he's open. Now, the, the kicker here is if you look at the linebacker right here, Hightower, he is your key. If the right guard gets him to suck in, which 99% of the time he will, then you're going to throw it to the A really quickly because nobody's going to be able to cover that spot. This is really predicated on them having their um, their cornerbacks at the line of scrimmage with the baseline press. That why that soft squat can't get to it. If he doesn't, you don't press anything and it just hands it off to the running back. As simple as that. So watch that right linebacker that I was speaking about, the one that's right over the right guard. And you can see when he gets sucked in, we throw it to the A, you get yourself some easy yards. Even if that's the user, what you're gonna see is that a lot of times, the user still gets sucked in. Once they touch that player, they cannot recover because it takes them a second to get off of the block, right? So if you watch this again, guy gets sucked in, and you can see here that I did not do the baseline press and that soft squat would be in the way. Wanted to show you that because that is something that you wanna keep. They're running this type of offense. You want to make sure that you, you make sure that the cornerbacks are baseline pressed, which almost every single person will do, right? It's just the way that, that people have taught this defense. We taught to run it this way, right? And what you're going to see again is that guy gets, you know, sucked in. You throw it to the A. Again, if you can go ahead and get a... Um, a truck on him, you know, Gronk is really, really good. Somebody that's got, you know, that ability to power through somebody, you know, you're gonna have that one-on-one, -on -one. you know, if you got tanked or you got something like that, really nice opportunity to use that against this guy, right? Now, the second option, like I said, is if they go ahead and cover the A, you just don't press anything and it gets handed off, right? You get handed off to this guy. And what's nice about it is, you know that that, um, that tight end, is going to block that safety. See how, because he gets up the field, he's not 
targeting that cornerback anymore. So a lot of times what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to kind of cut it back towards that and see if I can get myself a predictable block. So again, say they don't get sucked into the line, you get the run, you can see here that I'm gonna to try to go over here and get myself some yards. And a lot of times you're gonna get that many yards. It, it, it's that type of uh, play because of the way it works. So you wanna be able to mix these two in. Now, it can work on either hash mark. I wanna make sure that we, we talk about that next. So we'll do the same thing, but they have to be baseline depressed, right? We need to make sure that they're out of the way. And you can see that that's gonna work here, throw it to the sky, get yourself you know, those yards. And it's one of those quick hitters that typically, if you make them have to worry about that, and um, you know, you've got the option to, to just to not throw it if he's not open and run it, it just opens up the ability for them not to do that type of blitz, not to do this type of um, you know, setup, and it just kind of ruins it. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is what if they pass commit? Okay. Now that's probably something that um, you know, people were probably thinking right now, what if I just pass commit? It'll take it away. All right. So I just pass committed. What you're going to see the majority of the time is that either one, the guy will still get blocked by the right guard. He has a slower drop back and the right guard kind of still gets to him or he just doesn't get back quick enough. And I'll show you what I mean. See here, see how we're able to do it the same exact way. Um, the guard still was able to pick him up. It was just a little bit further down the field. And I've done this, you know, a bunch of times to where um, I don't get a legal man downfield because he does it about the two yard mark. See how even and before the guy's getting sucked in because he's trying to go for the run um, when they don't pass commit. When they pass commit, um, we're in run blocking to where we're trying to attack that guy and he just does not get back in time by the time our guard will get to him. And you can see how we're able to throw this ball pretty quickly. So as long as you see that these guys are in the gaps, the two linebackers, even if it's a it's a user, this is going to be highly effective for you. Now, I guess, guys, I want to make sure that this isn't one of those plays that you're going to say, you know what, I can win championships, you know, on this one play. But it's a play that you need to have um, in your arsenal to make sure that you can use other plays that are going to get deeper yardage um, in which we have, you know, plenty in the scheme against this defense, but we want to try to make them feel like it doesn't make sense for them to run this all the time if we have this easy option, right? The easy option is really just, all right, throw it to this guy and, you know, get your yards. So wanted to show it to you. Again, this channel sometimes, you know, tries to highlight like real huge plays, but that's not what we're always about. Um, you know, we're about making sure that you've got a full scheme, a, comp a comprehensive one, something that you feel comfortable with once you've learned it, once you've labbed it and say, you know what? I've got solutions for pretty much everything that they can possibly throw at me. And when we don't have solutions, that's what our Discord's for, right? Discord is, you know, I, I couldn't find anything in the game plan. I was going against this. What would you guys suggest? And that's where we get, um, you know, myself and other, you know, members of the Discord and saying, hey, this is what I go to. And, in, you know, collectively, you know, we have the, the answers in order to just make sure that you uh, feel confident every time you make a snap. So if you guys like this, definitely check out our Chiefs Trips. Um, like I said, we're going to drop the second part of it um, tomorrow, and then the third part is going to be next week, and we're really going to be able to, um, you know, just dominate on the offensive side of the ball, guys. I can't tell you how many times that um, this uh, offense has yielded against pro players, uh, just no stops against me, um, no stops against some other people that are running it. This one, like I said in the past. Um, a couple other people have been running it in the community that I have taught and I've labbed with um, prior to dropping it. And they're all coming back to me and saying this is the best I've felt in offense all year. So hopefully, um, you know, you guys are interested and we'll see you on the next video.